In this video, we will show you how to change the engine oil and filter on the Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter engine. Make sure you have your brand new oil filter and four and a half quarts of 5W30 oil. Let's get started. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Along the driver's side of the engine is where you're going to find your engine oil cap. Turn the cap counterclockwise and remove it. Give the seal a quick inspection, make sure it's soft and pliable, not torn or worn. Looking at the top, it tells you exactly what type of oil. It confirms 5W30 and you're going to be using 4.5 quarts. Let's set this aside and make our way safely under the vehicle. Bringing a collection bucket under the vehicle, we'll be paying attention along the driver's side of the engine. Along the driver's side of the engine, you're going to find your engine oil drain plug. And just above that is where you're going to find your oil filter. Let's start by draining our engine oil into a collection bucket and recycling it. Use a 15 millimeter on this drain plug. Now keep in mind when you go to remove the drain plug, the engine oil could come out at an angle towards the driver's side. We'll control that by using the drain plug. While that's draining, let's inspect the drain plug and the gasket. If it looks like it has to be replaced, now's a perfect time to do so. Now, of course, you could continue waiting until all the oil has drained out. That's gonna take a while. Just gonna wipe up the mess here, give it a close inspection and reinstall my drain plug. Once you've bottomed that out by hand, continue on by torquing that to 25 foot pounds. Let's pause here and make our way directly above it to the engine oil filter. To remove your engine oil filter, we'll be using a medium size engine oil filter wrench. Take hold of the filter and turn it counterclockwise. While you do so, you will find that oil will come out of this area. Make sure you have your collection bucket under here still. We'll drain this out into our collection bucket and recycle everything properly. Clean the engine where your brand new oil filter will ride and we'll continue on with priming our brand new engine oil filter. To prime the engine oil filter, take some clean motor oil and pour it directly in the center. Once it starts coming out the top, Pause on filling and take a gloved finger to coat that seal. Let's get this over to the vehicle. When installing your engine oil filter, you want to start it on by hand so you're sure you are not cross-threading it into the wrong position. After you've tightened that by hand, we'll continue on with our engine oil filter wrench. We're going to continue by tightening this an additional eighth of a turn. Take hold of the filter, attempt to turn it counterclockwise by hand. Let's clean our mess. Make your way back under the hood. To add your four and a half quarts of 5W30, it's a good idea to use an engine oil funnel. I'm gonna start with my half quart here. We'll set this aside for now in case we have to top off the engine oil when we're done.
Once you've finished adding your oil, continue on to removing the funnel and reinstalling your engine oil cap. Once you've finished adding your four and a half quarts of 5W30 oil, the next thing you need to do is start up the vehicle, let it run for approximately 15 seconds and turn it off. While you're on a flat level surface, you're going to be checking the engine oil level. To check the engine oil level, go ahead and take hold of that engine oil dipstick and lift it up and out of place. We'll give that a quick wipe. Now at the far end here, it's upside down, but you can see exactly what it says. Minimum down here, a small hatched area, and then up at the top, it says maximum. When the engine oil is full, you wanna be up close to the hatched line here, close to the maximum. Never above the maximum line, and never below the hatched line. If you're below, you need to add a little bit. If you're above, you definitely need to remove some engine oil. Let's check that oil level. Looking at the oil level, I can tell I'm almost at the very top of the hatch line here, which is absolutely perfect. Four and a half quarts filled this up. Reinstall the engine oil dipstick. Okay friend, we showed you how to change your engine oil and filter on your vehicle. At this point, start it up again, check for leaks, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.